Finally, a friendship problem. By Twilight Star. Twilight Sparkle and Spike stared at the falls, laughing as they skipped rope. Spike looked at Twilight. Twilight, I'm worried. This letter thing is bothering you. Twilight Sparkle, with her hoofs, scratched her eyes before blinking. Her mane and tail was a little messy. Take it, said Spike as he poked Twilight with the white box. You were so worried that you forgot about the picnic, said Spike with a smile. Why don't you relax and go to the picnic, exclaimed Twilight Sparkle as she turned to Spike. She had a toothy smile. Her pupils were dilated. Spike got scared. Twilight Sparkle picked up the box with her magic. I should see my friends, exclaimed Twilight Sparkle with a smile before starting to run to where her friends would be. Spike waved goodbye to Twilight. I'm glad you're back to normal. Meanwhile, Pinkie Pie with her basket was jumping to the picnic spot. When she opened the towel, there were balloons in it, and the basket rose into the air. Fluttershy watched Pinkie Pie's basket go up. Pinkie Pie smiled at Fluttershy, but she realized that Fluttershy didn't even notice. Applejack put the picnic blanket on the grass. Rainbow Dash was applying sunscreen, and Rarity was checking if there were any dishes in the basket. Please tell me I forgot the dishes. Rarity realized she didn't bring them. Oh, I forgot it. I totally forgot. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing, exclaimed Rarity as she spoke dramatically. Rarity brought a sofa close to her and lay down. Why, why, she whimpered. Rarity realized what she was doing and looked at her friends. They looked at Rarity with a really face. What? You didn't expect I would sit on the grass, right? Asked Rarity, not knowing why her friends didn't expect it. Rainbow Dash put on her sunglasses and laid down. A box fell to the floor. Rainbow Dash took off her sunglasses and saw Twilight Sparkle with a messy mane and with a crazy smile. Rainbow Dash stood up startled. The others looked scared at Twilight. Well, except Applejack, who looked with a worried look. Are you okay, Sugar Cube? No, exclaimed Twilight Sparkle. The friends of Twilight were surprised. I am not fine, exclaimed Twilight Sparkle, eyes closed before opening her eyes, and were no longer with a crazy look, but a sad look. It looked like a puppy look. The friends got up. What happened? What happened? I need to know something, Twilight Sparkle began sadly. Yes, asked Twilight Sparkle's friends in Unionson. It's very important, continued Twilight Sparkle. Yes, asked Twilight Sparkle's friends in Unionson. It's so important that I need to know this today, Twilight Sparkle continued, now walking before she stopped and her ears lowered. Yes, asked friends of Twilight Sparkle, now very close to her. Do any of you need my help? asked Twilight Sparkle almost desperately. The friends thought for a few seconds of answering. Each answered one after speaking. I don't need your help at all, said Rainbow Dash, now with her hoofs crossed and her face grumpy. Sorry, Sugar Cube, but I don't, said Applejack sadly. Let me see, Pinkie Pie thought with a hoof on her chin. No, nope. I'm sorry, but I don't need your help right now said Fluttershy sadly that she couldn't help Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle was now desperate. She looked at Rarity, who was still thinking. What about you, Rarity? Need my help on something? Rarity was drinking tea in a cup she brought. She held the teapot. When she finished drinking, she looked at Twilight Sparkle. Oh, sorry, dear. Actually, I... Twilight Sparkle was sweating with nerves now. I need help with something, Rarity finished, while saying yes. Her friends were confused. Twilight Sparkle noticed the looks her friends were giving her, so Twilight stopped. Sorry, what do you need help from me with? I forgot to bring the plates to the picnic. Could you come to my house and get it for me, please, dear? asked Rarity. Smiling, Twilight Sparkle replied, Rarity, it's... My duty to be a good friend and help you. Wait here, I'll be right back. With that said, Twilight Sparkle started running to Carousel Boutique.
her friends watched Twilight Sparkle run away. While running, Twilight Sparkle still couldn't believe she could find a friendship problem. She kept smiling. I don't believe it. A friendship problem. I got it. The princess will be so proud of me. When Twilight Sparkle arrived at Carousel Boutique, she went into the kitchen and searched for dishes. Plates, plates, where is it? Twilight Sparkle opened a cabinet with glass plates. Twilight Sparkle grabbed six plates from the cabinet before closing the cabinet. Leaving the house, closing the door, and heading straight to the picnic site. When Twilight Sparkle finally arrived at the picnic site, she put the plates on the picnic blanket. Here are the plates. Well, if you'll excuse me, I need to go. Bye, said Twilight Sparkle before running off. Her friends looked at Twilight Sparkle worriedly before looking at each other. Arriving at the Golden Oak Tree Library, Twilight Sparkle climbed the stairs, grabbed a scroll, a quill, and began writing the letter to the princess. Dear Princess Celestia, Today I helped Rarity. Rarity had forgotten the dishes for the picnic, and I, as a good friend, helped her. I went to her house, searched for the dishes, found the dishes, and brought them to the picnic. From your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle curled up the paper as if it were a scroll. Spike! Spike, who was in Twilight's room, went downstairs. Hi again, Twilight. What's up? How was the picnic? Forgot about the letter business? No time to explain, Spike, said Twilight Sparkle with a smile. Send this letter to the princess. Spike looked concerned. Twilight, haven't you given up on the letter business yet? Spike, send, said Twilight Sparkle, ignoring Spike's question. Spike sighed. Okay. He opened a window and blew fire. The letter has been sent. He watched the letter go to the castle. Spike looked at Twilight worriedly. Twilight wasn't well. He needed to warn Celestia about this. And that was what he was going to do. He took a paper, a quill, and started writing. Meanwhile, at Cantalot Castle, Celestia was in her room until she received a letter. The letter fell to the floor. She picked up the letter that fell to the floor and started reading. As she read, she smiled. She was happy that her student helped a friend in need. Suddenly, another letter appeared and fell to the floor. Celestia was confused. Two Twilight cards at the same time? Well, she should read anyway. She took the letter with her magic, opened the letter and began to read. To her surprise, the letter came not from Twilight, but from Spike. Princess Celestia, I am worried. Twilight Sparkle has been nervous all day about the letter business. Twilight feared that if she didn't send the letter to you earlier, she would be late. Please come to the Golden Oak Tree Library to talk to her. Tell her you don't need a letter. I don't like to see Twilight Sparkle like this. Signed, Spike. Celestia closed the letter as she sighed. Celestia knew she had to ask Twilight to send her letters about their friendship but Celestia didn't mean that Twilight needed a letter all day to know that she was a good student. Celestia would need to talk to Twilight about this. But she wouldn't fight with Twilight. She would talk to Twilight as if Twilight were her daughter. Meanwhile, at Golden Oak Tree Library, Twilight Sparkle was reading a book. Her mane and tail were no longer messed up. Suddenly, she heard a knock at the door. Twilight Sparkle approached the door. She wondered who it was. When she opened the door, Twilight Sparkle was surprised before bowing. P Princess Celestia, what are you doing here? I came here to talk to you, Twilight, replied Celestia. Twilight Sparkle stopped bowing and looked at Celestia with a worried look. Talk to me about what, Princess? I sent you a letter about what I learnt about friendship. And that is what we're going to talk about, Twilight, said Celestia. Twilight Sparkle seemed nervous about it. Would Celestia send her to Magical Kindergarten? Celestia entered the Golden Oak Tree Library. Twilight Sparkle gave room for Celestia. Would you like something, Princess? asked Twilight Sparkle with a nervous smile. Celestia thought before answering. 
No thanks. I just came here to talk to you, but thanks for volunteering. Twilight Sparkle, though smiling, was afraid the subject was more serious than she thought. Twilight Sparkle and Celestia sat on their hips to talk. Celestia decided to start talking. So, Twilight, I realized you sent me a friendship report today. Twilight Sparkle was still smiling nervously. Yes, Princess, weren't you proud of me? Celestia let out a breath before smiling at her student. Twilight, of course I was proud of you. Twilight Sparkle was now on the verge of nerves. So why do you want to talk to me, Princess? I wasn't a good student? Twilight, you're a wonderful student. But I don't need a letter every week to know that, said Celestia. Twilight Sparkle was surprised. Really? Celestia smiled. <laughs> yes, my faithful student. So, you won't be disappointed, and you won't make me go back to Canterlot, make me do a test, and if I don't pass that test, you would send me back to Magical Kindergarten? Asked Twilight Sparkle, still surprised. Celestia was surprised. Of course not, Twilight. Where did this idea come from? Twilight Sparkle grinned nervously as she scratched between her head with a hoof as she laughed nervously. I think loyalty to you makes me want to do everything not to let you down. Celestia smiled. I appreciate your loyalty, Twilight, but from now on, I'd like you to send me a report on the magic of friendship. Twilight Sparkle was surprised by this. When, and only when, you find that out. And that goes for your friends too, said Celestia, still smiling. Twilight Sparkle was more relieved. Celestia started walking towards the balcony to leave. But there was something that made Twilight Sparkle doubtful. Princess, wait! Twilight Sparkle ran to Celestia. Celestia looked at Twilight. How did you know I was in trouble? asked Twilight Sparkle. Your friend Spike sent me a letter about what you were feeling about it, replied Celestia with a smile. Twilight Sparkle looked back and saw Spike on the stairs. Spike realized he was seen and ran back up. Twilight Sparkle smiled at Spike. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go back to Canterlot, said Celestia. Twilight Sparkle looked at Celestia with a smile. Celestia jumped off the balcony and began to fly. Twilight Sparkle watched her mentor go to the moon and teleport. She went back inside and walked over to where Spike was. When she arrived in her room, she noticed that Spike was hiding under the covers of his blanket. Twilight Sparkle took Spike's blanket off. Spike, no need to hide. Aren't you mad at me? asked Spike, still a little scared. Twilight Sparkle, still smiling, replied, Of course not, Spike. You helped me get over something I was going through. Thanks. Twilight Sparkle hugged Spike. Spike calmed down. I'm happy about it. After all, I'm your number one assistant. <laughs>